Hello everyone, Bacardi here. Hope you're well. Something different here today. This is not a tutorial for Armour 3 Breaking Point Aftermath. It's just a little bit of helpful tips and startups uh, to help you get going if you are interested in playing this game. Armour 3 Breaking Point is back. Um, like I said, it's been a long time since it was originally out and it's been... Um, upgraded and basically trying to make a bit of a comeback so what we're going to do we're going to show you a few tips and I'll first start off with the faction system to show you the eight factions um, I'm not going to read all through what they are we're just going to list them and you can pause to go through them so you've got the rangers you've got the traitor on the left which you can go into negative points you get a traitor level one level two level three progression regression and the perks if you pause, read all those, and we'll do that for each of those if you want. Um, I won't bother reading them because you don't want to see me read through the eight factions of doing everything. So these first ones, Ranger, Outlaw, and then the next three, I think, as well after that. You all can't kill everyone. You have to be careful who you kill. Otherwise, you get negative points and you can get into being a traitor where you can be hunted down by everyone. Uh, which isn't good. I have videos out there with me where I killed three players on the trot very quickly who were all um, <laughs> my faction and I got into big negative points where I spent about three days trying to get back level. So you've got survivalist here. Um, a lot of people like playing this because you have the ghillie suit when you get to um, level two and three. So there are perks and things you get points for gussing animals and stuff and killing undead um, watchers or traitors and nomad try to uh, level one again two and three so sermon survivor of the wasteland so you just wander around you can kill every you know um, thing just don't kill rangers, nomads, or survivalists, or provide aid to hunters. Hunters are the bad guys. That's what I am. I'm, I'm one of those guys. Um, the engineer. This is a new class. It was always coming soon. It's now out. Um, I think it did get out before it got last time. Um, but you get points for building, fixing cars. And you can help anyone, you are neutral. Um, just don't kill engineers, destroy engineers' vehicles or crates, or help outlaws with medical, food, or water. Anything else you can do, build for them, do whatever. Now we're moving on to the hunter. This is what a lot of people play because you can kill absolutely anything and everything. Uh, you get a lot of points for gutting an unconscious player, which is good. Um, destroy any weapons crates by burning them and igniting, I think. Uh, regression, provide any uh, help. The only help you might provide to someone as a hunter is shooting them, putting them out of their misery. Independent is a, a class where you can do anything you want. It has no bearing, there's no scoring. You do not get any points for killing people. You don't lose points for killing people. It's just fun. But you can watch. Uh, you can wear all their uh, clothing of the faction. So if you want to infiltrate a faction and do that, you can. You can play that, and then it, every sort of these classes they do have their own nuance, and there are ways to play them, um, which is, is fun part of the game. And then you can even play as an undead zombie. And you uh, amble around trying to kill people. It's fun. It's, <laughs> if you want to do it, it, it's, you know, not my thing. I've done it a few times. I might put a video up of me doing it um, just for a laugh. But it's not something I do. I normally like going around trying to ruin people's day, killing everyone. And then we're going to get on to setting up your hotkeys in a second. 
or not hotkeys, the uh, custom controls. And the only ones you really use are custom key 1, action 2, 9, 11 and 12. 1 is really important, sit down and heal. Um, I have this personally set up on H, just because I that's what I personally think. These are just example key bindings, you can set it up to whatever you like. Jump, which is only over little um, fences, it's the little running jeep uh, leap over a thing, which is better than the step over vault in my opinion. But you can set it up and have both if you do require it. Um, nine auto run, I have mine on zero. Earplugs, just for a new vehicle, it's good. And then check your faction score. I have mine set on something like insert, I believe. Um, but you, like I said, you set them up on anything. I have my earplugs set up on J, auto run on zero, jump on V, and then the heel in, on H. So it's up to you. And these are the backpack sizes, which are very helpful to know. <laughs> so you can work out whether you're going to upgrade your backpack to a bigger one and carry more stuff. Carrying more stuff doesn't impede you your weight or run speed in this. So that's one good thing. So it's on there, you can pause it, take a screenshot if you need to, and then you've got it. It's all all information off the Discord anyway, um, on the Breaking Point mod Discord, if you can uh, search and find it. It just gives you extra info. And we're going to go into a little bit of the uh, gameplay at the moment. Like I said, this isn't really a tutorial, it's just showing a few things to give you a bit of help if you're getting started you do want to playing this. So there's a sheep there. What we're going to do, we're going to kill it and gut it. It's a cheap, nice cheap way of getting points. So we kill it and food as well to heal yourself because you heal with food in this game, not um, medical so much. That doesn't actually bring you heal, uh, your health back. Uh, although you can do the sit down H from the uh, custom control. So there you go, 10 points for gutting the thing. Just use the scroll wheel over the thing and it's thing. I'll just do that, hide the thing. And then you just pick up the interim inventory and you just go in and pick them up. Uh, my inventory is full, so I can't pick up the last stake. I've got a wood pile there. And matches and then what you do to start a fire you go I'd suggest going somewhere safe out of view and then you just double click the matches as you can see there it gives a hint double click matches if you have wood and you create a fireplace five six seconds and it's built simple as and now, I, now I've made space in there getting rid of the pile of wood and going pick up this other thing this other mutton steak um, having problems it, <laughs> getting the inventory on the uh, carcass, nothing on the ground there, so you just have to say this is just the armour for you. Um, best thing to do is look at the edge of the animal, if you want, there you go, like that, and you get it, you can pick it up. So that's all four states I've done, and you just go back to the fire, scroll wheel on it, and it says light fire, light the fire, scroll wheel again, cook meat. And you can cook the meat. It gave me another option there of boiling water, which I have a can, an empty can, which you get from food or drink, which you can boil your water in. If you have a canteen of non-boiled water, or and you can pick water up from uh, blue barrels and like wells. Um, they're more like water fountains at a church type area type thing. Um, then you go boil water, put the fire out. And you can destroy the fire if you want and that's just a way of doing the menus it's quite simple to uh, navigate and it's intuitive this here is the range finders which you will need to rebind the key on because by default it's set to t and unfortunately it doesn't work for the moment so i've rebound mine to i think key eight um just simple we were just trying to find a key and then what you do, put your crosshair, the center red crosshair on it, and you press 8. Make sure you save the, uh, when you're setting the controls in the menu, just save it after, and it should work. Don't try and set it back to T, because it won't work again. And that's the thing. And then we're going to move on now, quickly, to something that really boils my piss. Vehicles in this game. 
I really don't like the armoured vehicles. I think they're overpowered and I think they're a bit stupid. It's just my personal opinion. And this is what I do with the armoured vehicles. Yeah. So we've got a uh, Penic and I think the other one's a Vanad. We've destroyed us basically. Burst, um, attack bursts. We come over here to fill up a fuel can so I can ignite the vehicle. Whoops. Whoa. <laughs> um, armour. That's just armour for you. Weird stuff happens. And then we're going to go up here to the fuel station. I'll call good. it petrol, but I'm sure others around the world will call it gas and whatever. So I'm going to get out here, fill up my um, fuel can, and then we're going to destroy this vehicle because it's overpowered. This one can go in water, knocks trees down, and the only way you can kill it, I think you yeah, have to shoot to it get into through that, the window yeah. Yeah. with um, a high caliber weapon. And they're fast, they go so quick. It's really a struggle to get them in there. Um, personally, I would do away with the armored vehicles in this game, but it's not my server, and that's just my opinion. And a few others. Uh, it just this, yeah. we had a bit of a discussion of uh, how overpowered and what people need to do the vehicles to, that should destroy them. So just scroll down there, ignite vehicle, and with a fuel can you set fire to it, and it gets up, and there you go. What's happened? Is it on fire? Yep. Well, it is now. See you later. Yeah. Boom! Yeah, big bada boom. There you go. Here's the server info if you are interested in joining the server and playing. Um, it really is fun. I would check it out. I know it's an old game and thing, but I would definitely do. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope it gives a thing. If you like it, if you have any questions, just put them down in the chat and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll try and answer them for you. Take care. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.